Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson, and we're here at Ant Face Community Kitchen in Moreland, and we're gonna make some sugar cookies, and they have a sour cream frosting that makes them taste more like they're for adults, so you don't feel so bad about eating sugar cookies, but they're quite delicious. So I'll go ahead and get started because there's a little bit of labor involved, and so I've got a cup of butter already in my mixer, and I'll start it going. And in addition to that, I need three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. Mix up. It'll be easier once I get the sugars in. There's two kinds of sugar. One's a quarter, one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. I should do the powdered sugar first though. It's three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. That way, if it dry, it'll have less chance of making a big powder poof mess, which happens to me almost every time. Look at this, I smartened up. This is awesome. No mess. So this is powdered confectioner sugar, about three quarters of a cup. Mm. And, go back to my other sugar. It's one and a quarter cup of granulated plain old white sugar. I haven't seen a G&H commercial on TV in a long time. So when I was a kid, they sang it all the time. G&H from Hawaii. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna turn it back down a little bit and put in a couple of tablespoons Where's my tablespoon of water? I'm just using tap water. And then I have a couple of eggs to put into. So I'm gonna let those cream together pretty well. And then in the meanwhile, I'm gonna measure out the rest of my dry ingredients. I have a half a teaspoon of baking soda. This set has a half a tablespoon. I'm gonna mess it up one day. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And if you don't have cream of tartar, then instead of using a half a teaspoon of baking soda, you can use a quarter teaspoon and then use a full teaspoon of baking powder. So that's a way you can substitute that if you don't have it. But for us, we're using a half teaspoon of each baking soda and cream of tartar. And then I need a teaspoon of salt. So I'll dip this two times. Well, one thing I didn't realize is I put that in a bowl that had an egg in it. Now it's all sticky. Normally I would whisk those with the flour, but I kind of messed up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down to stir. And this is a lot of flour. It is five and a half cups. So this will take a little while. And when it's done, our dough should be pretty dry. It shouldn't be sticky at all. It will be pretty crumbly. And that's all we need to put in this. And then we'll roll it into little balls. This will take a while. So if I go too fast, it will fly everywhere. Why don't I go ahead and take a short break while I add the flour. And when we come back, I'll start rolling them up and put them on the sheet to bake. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry? When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael! 
their options are simply limited. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associates to learn more. Restaurants, gyms, salons, libraries, and more. Next Tech has over 100 free Wi-Fi hotspots to keep you connected. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Welcome back. We have finished the dough. That did take a while. Notice that it's not totally stuck together. It's a little bit crumbly, but it will stick fine once we start to roll them. We need to roll them into evenly sized balls up to a golf ball size. I think that my little scoop will be a little bit smaller than a golf ball. But we roll them then stick them on these little pans. I have the oven on at 350 to warm up. I love this uh, dough, it's not overly sweet. All that flour takes away some of the sugar sweetness. And then with the nice sour cream frosting, it just, it just seems a little elevated compared to a regular sugar cookie. I kind of like rolling dough. It's nice and therapeutic. I just wish my nieces were here. They're great rollers too. Remember they helped me to roll meatballs. And then once we get a bunch of them on the sheet, I keep wanting to roll them in the sugar. But I'm actually gonna take a glass with a really flat bottom and I'm gonna dip it in sugar to keep it from sticking and then just press them on the cookie until they look. So I'll do this one over. <laughs> that stuck. You're not supposed to stick. Let me try this again. Maybe I forgot to get the bottom wet. There it goes, that's how it's better. You bad cookie. <laughs> but see how the edges start to crack a little because the dough is so crumbly. I guess you should, um, I didn't get the bottom of the cup wet. Now it's wet with dough. So that's why it didn't stick this time. So more sugar stuck to the bottom of the cup, but you don't want it wet, wet, just damp enough to pick up some sugar. Uh, the point is more to keep it from sticking to the cookie rather than to sugar the cookie, because we're going to frost it anyway. I'll have to tell you something. There is a little knob that keeps catching my shirt. <laughs> I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to really hurt me one of these times. Well, what do you think? Is this a golf ball size? Kind of, almost. 
Not quite, but pretty close. My hands feel kind of greasy from all that butter. Um, yes, rolling it out like this is kind of takes a long time, but it doesn't take as long as rolling it out flat and cutting it out with cookie cutters. So let's get over it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is just terrible. Okay. Okay, my oven is at 350. I will put these in. I don't remember how long I have to cook them for. Let me look. Six to eight minutes, so those won't take very long at all. But I need the cookies when they come out of the oven to cool completely. And in fact, I'm gonna put them in the fridge because these taste the absolute best when the cookies are very cold with fresh frosting on them. So after I get these all pressed down, please don't stick. This is just granulated sugar I'm dipping in. It's just a plateful. I think I put about a quarter cup in there. Oh, I'm making my cup really dirty with my dirty hands. Cloudy. I don't want you to blame my dishwashing liquid when it's really just butter. Okay, once I get all these smashed down, I'll put them in the oven for about six to eight minutes. I've got several pans of these to do. When we come back, we'll cool them and make our frosting. So see you in a little bit. Did you know? It's not just water, it's better water. Better Water with Smith Center completes all your hydration needs. They sell Lundy Spring Systems, including water softeners, reverse osmosis, water coolers, and bottled water. They won't just install your system, they will service and repair it too. Better Water can repair Echo Water Systems and all other major brands. They offer softener salt sales and delivery for your convenience. Serving all of Northwest Kansas. It's not just water, it's better water. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. You're in the right place, the see it before you buy place, the professional staff place, the have it delivered place. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance has real stainless steel with fewer fingerprints and smudges. Ranges with true convection speed bake. Quietest in its class dishwashers, refrigerators with the freezer on the top, the bottom, or side by side. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. The best price place, you're in the right place. New technology comes out every week, and it can be hard to keep up with new features and buttons each new phone, computer, and tablet have. You could soon be the tech-savvy person in your family if you watch Next Tech University. Available on Next Tech Channel 1 and Next Tech VOD, Next Tech University will give you the tips and tricks to master your latest device and make you the person friends will run to with questions. Watch Next Tech University on Next Tech Channel 1 and video on demand. Okay, we have our last tray of cookies in the oven. I have some cooling on cooling racks and then I have some in the freezer. And we're gonna make the frosting while we do wait for the last ones to cook. So, first thing I have is a half a cup of butter and I softened it a little in the microwave. It needed to be room temperature and I had not taken it out, but sometimes I found that, that it's good and sometimes if you leave it in the microwave too long, it will clarify your butter, whether you meant to or not. <laughs> Meaning it's all separated, but this did okay. It did really good with my, when you have to mix things. Okay, half a cup of butter, and then I'm gonna put in just one drop of food coloring. And since these are first showing in January, we're gonna make little blue frosting, barely light blue like snow. Please just do one drip. I did it. 
It's all down the side. I'm gonna put that in the sink. And I need a teaspoon of salt. And three quarters of a cup of sour cream. This is what makes it different than any other frosting to me. Yuck. That spatula is really good for digging, but not for scraping so much if you've got a round. I love having many different scrapers and spatulas. Okay, and once this is pretty well mixed, I'm gonna put in up to a whole two pound package of food, of um, confectioner's sugar, but I don't know for sure how much it's gonna take. Is that stuff flying everywhere? Look at that. Okay, so when this gets pretty thick, I'll put in a splash of milk because we're gonna put in a quarter cup of milk. But we're planning to maybe use this whole thing. We just don't know for sure. I don't know why I think it doesn't taste as sweet with the sour cream in it when really this is a lot of powdered sugar. Oh, this will take a while. Oh, I love the color, perfect, perfect. Okay, it's getting a little stiffer, so I'm gonna put part of the milk in, just the splash of it, and then keep going with the powdered sugar. And this is something you don't have to worry about over mixing. Oh, that tiny little drop of blue is still not all the way mixed in. It looks like an ice blue color, like a glacier. If you haven't been to see a glacier, hurry because they are gorgeous. I cannot wait to go to Alaska again. Last time I went, that was my favorite part. They, uh, I went on a cruise, just a day cruise, where they took um, glacial, they took ice from the ocean that had calved off of a glacier and they put it in our drinks and it was amazing. But I wonder if it was true because later I just fished one, fished one out of the ocean or the, the lake. And it tasted like glacial silt to me, which is kind of the dirt that kind of uh, gets pulled up by the glacier as it moves. I thought it was great. I thought, I loved watching the glaciers calve and that's when some of the ice falls off and it sounds like a gunshot. It was really spectacular. And then you'd hear kind of crack, 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 crack like guns. And then a big wall of ice would fall off the front of the glacier. Everyone who's seen it goes, oh, I know. But <laughs> it, was, it was nice to me. I loved it. It was the first place I've ever been where I couldn't wait to be outside all day. It was so beautiful. Uh, of course, that was the summer. It was in a July. I don't think it's that great in the winter. This looks perfect, actually. Look at that great color, glacial cookies. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set up a little bit while we finish cooling the cookies. And when we come back from break, we'll frost them and see if they taste as good as they look. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry? When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associates to learn more. Restaurants, gyms, salons, libraries, and more. Next Tech has over 100 free Wi-Fi hotspots to keep you connected. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Oh, hi, welcome back to Local Flavor. Um, we have got these cookies all cooled and I'm loosening them up from the parchment paper. My favorite thing about parchment paper is that it's super easy. And I'm going to, we have got a little crowd gathered outside, so I need to do enough to feed the crowd <laughs> and to taste one myself. But uh, if you can beautifully decorate, I really envy you, but I'm just gonna smear some on. Because, because all of my prettiness is coming from the color of the cooking, <laughs> of the frosting, which someone told me looks like it should be on the movie Frozen. So I kind of felt disnified by that. But it, to me, it was a glacier cookie. But I guess glaciers are also frozen, so it is all good. Oh, I wish I could do it perfectly. Some people really can. Or use even, even if they use those bags, I'm not that good at it. But it looks delightful. These cookies are nice and cold. I'm gonna take this one that is kind of broken. And that'll be the one I'm gonna pretend. It's just for me. I got myself a big glass of milk. And you can see my, it's clean now. It was not, it's not my dishwashing liquid. It is the butter. Ah, oh, that's what's come after the cookie. I'm gonna break off a bit. These should be stored in the fridge because there's sour cream in them. And because that's how they're the most delightful. Mm, I love it. Not too sweet. You get a little bit of tang from the sour cream. I love just the tiny crust of sugar on the top from pressing them down with that glass. Mm, they are so good. But you definitely need milk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I suggest that you try these cookies. I'm gonna keep frosting them. Oh, maybe I better wash my hands because I think I licked some frosting off my hand. I don't want to get you all infected. I don't have anything. But I'll keep frosting these for our guests. And 
I'll see you next time on Local Flavor. I have chased down Diana Crouch and she knows a lot about this building and why it started and who likes to use it. So tell us, first of all, why, why did you build this place? This has been a long dream of Bay Minium and the Moreland Community Foundation. Uh, last December, we decided to uh, ask the Dane Hansen Foundation for some grant money to help us build it. And in January, they came through with the dollars. Mm -hmm. So um, we started, we hit the ground running and started building as fast as we can. Um, Todd Told did all the construction and our project manager was Mike Frakes. And uh, last month in the middle of September, we had a ribbon cutting event and we've already had a few users with it. Very good. So that why it's called Aunt Faye's Community Kitchen, since it was her vision? Yes, yes. Feminium. And um, the people who have used it, why would they be using it? Um, our very first client was um, Angela Bates making um, Ernestine's barbecue sauce out of it, and she is going to resell it. Um, we have people who just want to make their Thanksgiving dinner here, their cakes, their pies for family reunions. Um, we've had requests to make um, batches of jellies and jams and church bazaars and things like that. Do you know what I used to have a dream about was to have like a cooking class where everyone made something to take home and so but you didn't have to have all the equipment you could make fancy things but you wouldn't have to buy so much and I think that'd be a great thing to do in a place like this. Exactly. That's Thanks so much for joining us and letting us know more about the building. We are really loving using it so thanks for building it. Thank you.